the Mox return to Finley Stadium with head coach Tom Art leading the way. We got an opportunity to do something different. You got to do it better than you've ever done it before. You got to communicate better than you've ever communicated before. It's got to mean more to you than it's ever meant to you before. And he ends up touchdown. This opportunity, this moment, today, forward. Right, to give that type of effort every single day. Straight back to throw and sack. You got the opportunity to set the standard for what it means to play at Chattanooga. You're watching Inside Chattanooga Football, hosted by head coach Tom Arth and the voice of the Mox, Jim Reynolds. Inside Chattanooga Football is presented by Allegra, 24 hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Coca Cola, Chattanooga Coca Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca Cola bottler. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds. This week on the program, we're going to have highlights of the Mock's big win over VMI. UTC goes on the road to Lexington, Virginia, and posts their first conference win and the first win of the Arth administration, scoring 63 points in a win over the Cadets. Mock's football also with a big game this Saturday. Mock's in Western Carolina at Finley Stadium. That's all coming up next on Inside Chattanooga Football. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Coca-Cola. Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler.
for the 25. Round excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. Every division, every sport, the Learfield Directors' Cup. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us online and on Twitter. The Learfield Directors' Cup. Hi, I'm Carter Bagley, um, senior, uh, running back for UTC Mox. I remember when you guys first told me about it, I thought like, I was like, oh man, like I'm about to have me like a little special, like how they have it on like hard knocks and like that. So I was super excited and I, like, I, I remember I was like trying to go over like what I was like going to say and things of that nature. I had like everybody hyped, like all the other freshmen, they were like, oh man, you gotta come next to me. Uh, Cause they thought I was gonna be like mic'd up at practice, and they had we just had this whole thing, but it was crazy. I mean, I enjoyed it though. It was, it was awesome. I can't wait to look at it, see what, it, right. see how it is. Yeah. I'm from California, Georgia. I'm looking out of Bill Grove High School. Um, Shout out to the Grove. Like, I was about five years old. You know, I chose Chattanooga because. I went my official. It was. I had a great time. You know, I, I felt like I connected with a lot of the players, and you know, I just didn't feel that with anywhere else. Oh, I got the old shut. I want. I'm excited to get out there, but also nervous. You know, I was, everybody, every freshman wants to make a name for themselves. Every freshman wants to get that starting position. Every freshman wants to be playing on the field their first year. You know, and I have that mindset, and you know, I, I want to be a killer. I, I want to get that. that that position, I want to be in a depth chart, and I want to be out there for the first game. So I'm gonna do anything I can with that. Uh, yeah, for the fall, I'm gonna yeah. Win, uh, I got that same mouthpiece oh, really? that I've had my wow. freshman year. Yes. So we all gonna be. 
Oh my God. Um, but everything's good. Uh, it's been an adjustment period, but um, you know, I feel like as a freshman group, like as a whole, we've been you know doing a great job with it. Um, yeah. You know, I was looking a little rough. It was week four. I didn't. I was. Yeah, a lot of freedom. You know, you don't have your mom on your back telling you to do your homework or you know go to sleep or eat. You know, you don't have your mom to make your breakfast uh, for you in the morning or cook your meals. So you know, you, you just kind of have to you know. You got to mature a little bit, so and it, it, we, we've all been adjusting well, so it's, it's been good. Yeah, teachers just let you out whenever they, you know, there's a, there's a time, but you know, if they, they don't, they're not done, they're not going to let you out. So, you know, you just got to, you just got to, you know, respect that, and, you know, you just got to pay attention and, you know, do your work, stay on top of things. It'll be good. Uh, practice is fun. Practice is always fun. It, it, it's, a, it's surprising for me to say that, because, you know, I, I usually, like, didn't like practice, but I, I like practice now. I, I, I like the competition, you know, I like, I like the intensity out there and you know I, I just I just like the, um, the setup of practice and how everything goes. I need this for Dale because Dale he likes to talk a lot of trash. I told him that I hit him with a mean spin move. I told him that. It's always good to have your stories to tell to them and you know tell them the production you've done you know to help the team you know in you know any way you possibly can so it's good. I'm very very appreciative of it and I'm just gonna keep working hard so you know you can see more playing time on the field and you know do good things. Oh man, it was oh, man, a, lot, a lot of nerves, you know, but you know, I was also prepared. You know, I, I, I've been doing this yes. since camp. I've been going against D1 players since, you know, uh, camp. And, you know, just kind of just. Oh, and y'all got the UT basic. film. You know, I, I've been taught well by amazing coaches. So, you know, it, 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 was, it was an exciting moment, but also, you know, I was prepared as well. That's crazy. Like, I look. I look the same, but I, I just feel so young back then, like just looking at it. Cause like I feel more, I feel so experienced. I feel like I didn't went through it. Like I didn't go through it yet, but now I didn't went through it. You know, it's crazy. What's the, uh, what, what's the biggest change from there to, to now? Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just more responsibility, more people, more players looking up to me. I remember back then that I was the one just like, I was the wide-eyed freshman just trying to figure out what to do and like nobody, I, you know, I had my like my one little role, but that was it. But now it's kind of like, you know, I'm one of the guys that they rely on. Well, I mean, looking at it now, man, I'm just, it just brings back so many memories, like just so many good memories, like just being in the dorm rooms and like, you know, just talking with all the teammates and just, you know, talking about like, oh man, I don't know what we're gonna do our senior year, and like, oh, they were gonna do this, that, how we thought things were gonna be, just kind of like, just picturing it now, and then now that it's actually here, it's kind of crazy, because it kind of, it just came fast, it really snuck up on me, and I know they always say that like, you know, um, four years are gonna fly by, but like, it really flew by, but like, I don't know. I guess like what, my main like thing that I would tell the old me back then um, just to don't ever get discouraged because there was a time that I got discouraged you know and just stay with it trust the process like everything everything happens for a reason it was, it was good seeing this because it just reminded me like you know like it just it just reminded me that that ambition I had coming in and then, like I'm just happy that I still have it like on my way out so I'm just just made me happy seeing that this segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Allegra. 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Welcome back to Inside Chattanooga Mox Football. I'm Jim Arles along with head football coach Tom Arth. I know we're still in the basking in the glow of a win last Saturday, but pretty tough opponent coming up this week in Western Carolina. Yeah, absolutely. We had to we had to put that one behind us. You know, really, you know, when we got back Saturday night and you know talked about it with the team on Sunday. Um, really, once we finished our meeting and film work, you know, it was really on to on the on the Western Carolina. They are a great team. For you, I'm sure it was simply good to see smiles on faces on Saturday. Players, assistant coaches, family members, everything else, right? Yeah, absolutely. It was. It was. It was great. You know, and, and like we talked about it, it wasn't. Uh, you know, we weren't. We weren't all smiles because we because we won. Um, you know, we were we were excited because we played well. I was really encouraged by you know how we played together. You know, offensively, defensively, special teams. How we, you know, really capitalized on you know the, the momentum that each side of the ball created and um, really fed off each other throughout the course of the game. 
one thing we, had, you and I had talked about last week was the turnover situation. Got some turnovers on defense and blocked a punt. That's a pretty good day. Absolutely. I think we had, uh, you know, we had four turnovers um, in the game and a blocked punt that led to a touchdown. So really, you know, 28 points there. You know, 21 points off the turnovers. Um, you know, another, you know, got the ball at the one yard line after the blocked punt. So, um, you know, that was great to see. Let's go back to offense a little bit. Obviously, productive on offense. Nick, did he play better? Did he simply have more time? Was he more accurate? Were running backs just better? Was the offensive line creating more holes? Combination of all of the above. But of, of that group, who took the greatest stride forward? Let me put it that way. Well, you know, I guess I would say our wide receivers. You know, I was very pleased with that group um, overall. I think that, uh, you know, with, with Alfonso, uh, you know, really coming out and really getting us started the way that he did was outstanding to see, you know, Bingo, you know, continue the success that he's had this year. Um, James Stovall really got going. Um, so Joe Parker, you know, again, steady as, as always. Uh, so that, I think, to me was really important, you know, going into that was, you know, to get all those guys going. So it was the next step now as you play Western Carolina, played well in a game, the next step would be consistency, right? Can you put it together for another game and then three in a row, four? Absolutely. And, you know, and I think that it started at, at our practice on Sunday. You know, what we talked about was just understanding that we had our best week of practice last week and it showed, you know, it showed up. We, we executed, you know, regardless of, you know, who our opponent was, we went out there and we, we did what we were supposed to do. And, um, we need to have another great week of practice this week, and if we do that, I think we'll we'll go out there and we'll play well on Saturday. Hawkshead football coach Tom Arth, UTC in Western Carolina Saturday at Finley Stadium. Highlights next time on Inside Chattanooga Football. Inside Chattanooga Football has been brought to you by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler.